Anyways, yeah, check it out. It's a good album. Yeah. I am gonna check it out. But the album of the day. Freddie should we Gibbs. should we get yeah. to that? Freddie Gibbs. And Madlib. Let's let's not leave Madlib out. Absolutely. He was not left out on that album. Not at all. <laughs> Madlib showed the fuck up, bro. Which is not surprising. But what was surprising to me is that he did like some trappy shit. Yeah, but like, it was mixed stay, with like sample was, flips well, no that, doubt, that were in their pocket. It was still kind of rugged. <laughs> no doubt. But it's dope to hear someone from that era, you know, be like, nah, fuck it, I'm gonna do this too. First of all, Sosa, bitch, I got soldiers that I put my people. First of all, you know how obnoxious you have to be to start a record like this? (laughs) 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 Think about that. In all the sessions that you've done, in all the sessions that we've done, yeah. In all the sessions that any of y'all have been in, yeah. how many of them started a record like this? <laughs> Not many. I want to let y'all know I don't know what's happening right now <laughs> Craziness Oh my He was getting his filter bag All that <laughs> no, shit You gotta let him keep going <clears throat> I, want, I want to call him he was spitting, boy. That album was, I was man, very what happy with that. Album. It should only been out for twelve hours, and I listened to it fucking three times. Yeah, it's the one that I've had the most replay value today. Yeah, since I woke up, probably got three listens in on this one. They are bugging. Word. Come on, Freddie. I'm sure he's busy yeah, he on his word album out. release day. Oh yeah, they did two. They did back to back events when we was in LA. I didn't go to either one. I was mad. I'm the nigga that let it ring anyway, though. <laughs> <laughs> I might leave a message too. Yeah, Gibbs sleep right now. Nah. He didn't Shit. Sleep. All right, I'm not leaving a message. He did shows two days in a row. I'm sleeping. Yo, Anderson Anderson on records is a cheat code. Yeah. It is. That's how I feel, honestly. Yeah. But I like that he put Anderson on a darker record. Oh yeah. So while it's a cheat code, it's it's a really good pocket for Anderson that he doesn't typically do. The production on this is insane. Not this song, this album. Yeah, uh, Mad Lib's been nice, but he went above and beyond with this. Yeah. Uh, I have a question for, for you guys. Uh, has anybody checked on Pusha T? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, nah, actually. See? <laughs> Somebody should. Is that why he's bugging? So, 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 so nobody can say whether or not he's okay. <laughs> Uh, he seems to be uh, okay. Yeah, he's in good spirits. <laughs> yeah, really good spirits. I don't think so. He don't sound well to me. <laughs> <laughs> he sounds pretty sick. He Does he? He's bugging. Something sounds really wrong with him. I think, <sighs> fam. Oh my God, Jesus, Mary and Joseph. It is great to see that Push be looking like. On his Insta story, he's in his Ferrari with his wife in Virginia Beach, like Ferrari. hanging out, family time. Like, look at this really nice guy in such a great space in his life. Like, and he's chilling. And then put, then does this. Yeah, and Benny the Butcher. <laughs> and the, you know what and I'm saying? Like, sp- I'm just gonna spaz on the hardest shit. <laughs> and then just destroy something, like he has anything to prove. <laughs> right. Oh my god. Oh. Wait, let me just say, let me bring this back. See, this is another prime example of a song I would have never let this go out like this. Hey, somebody check on Pusha T and make sure that he is okay. We need him. Because <laughs> why did he do this? I want to uh, say too. This is an example of an album that's mixed badly, but it's good. 
Some shit is supposed to be mixed I know bad, you didn't though. let us get the 444 off. This sounds like it was purposely mixed this, this is supposed way. to be like this. Yes. Yeah. It's supposed to sound messy as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. I understand. This Dad is ASR, it. ASR messiness. Nah, he does this shit on a fucking little, like, cheap sampler that really? you can't even do stems on. If he's still using <laughs> it, like, you can't even make stems. It doesn't exist. Yeah, he said, if you, if you like the beat, then take it. It's like that. That's how it goes. You don't need to mix it. I ain't mad at that. Beyond, <laughs> when it come out sounding like that. Yeah, no shit. doubt. Why is he doing this? <laughs> Next to Freddie Gibbs and um, Killer Mike. Killer Mike, yeah. Or, but that that type of sound that that is pusher. Yeah, I know. You know what I mean, like that. And and, and Freddie knows. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. And Freddie yeah. knows. Like mm-hmm. I'm talking, and they all kill. Be clear. Yeah, they all kill. But God damn it! I have, all right, so I have another question for y'all before I get back to that because he's still killing and I'm not done. Uh, cause Freddie put me in uh my Benny my the same kind of vibe that Benny put me in almost last 100%. week. Okay. Which led me to uh what they're doing here mm. and what Benny thirty eight special and Kiss did. Grimy shit mm. back. Who do you take in that three on three? Whew. Well, who? Yeah, give me the three on three again. Freddie Gibbs, Killer Mike, and Pusha T. Well, Killer Mike we Benny, talk about this record because Killer Mike kind of just did the hook. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just saying, I'm just three saying three. in a three man. Okay. You now how we doing two and two? I'm doing I'm like taking Benny and Spech. Benny and Spech and Kiss. Yeah, and Kiss. Yeah. Spech went crazy on that track. Push went crazy. But I'm talking on about this too. No, he's I'm not he's saying. I'm talking about the records. Oh, okay. Because Killer Mike about, didn't even really get just, the verse. Yeah, because y'all know y'all know what Killer Mike do. Don't do that. Yeah, yeah. Damn, that's tough. Mm. I, right. I thought it's it was actually, tough too. It's actually tougher. I thought it was tough too. We are making it seem, but I think I would go with Benny, Kiss, and uh, Thirty Eight Special. Yeah. That's my pick. I can't do that. Only because Benny and Kiss I can't is so... I can't. Yeah. I can't. Benny and is in like a, a weird sleeper, hunger nice mode now, it. and I think Push, Freddie Gibbs, and Killer Mike are... Well, I want to say that, but then they do something like this yeah. where they're more chilling. I'm always going to go with... And listen, I'm giving 38 Spech and, and Benny some time because I think the potential over there is through the roof. Uh, Kiss is a legend, so we don't even have to talk about him. The, the collective catalogs and history and just of Killer Mike... Freddie Gibbs and Pusha T. I can't. I feel you. I can't. I feel you. This might be the most important uh, album, I think, in Freddie's career. <coughs> Maybe so. I think this is the one I that agree. more people going to find. And he him. fucking delivered. Yeah. <laughs> and this this going to be the one where people be like, that was the first time I heard him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people, this is going to be the first yeah, time. Because they probably didn't really hear the first one. Pinata, oh, yeah. For sure. and Which was a great point, album. Most he, at that point, I was he, having a conversation. It was perfect that he dropped. Because, you know, artists be scared when they're dropping with a, a whole bunch of music on one day. Mm-hmm. This shit stood out because of what it was. Like yeah. with the Chris's, the Daniel Caesars, the Mustards, like mm-hmm. what a uh, opposite and juxt of everything that came out so it could shine better. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. why I think it's so important to him because everyone's like, talk about this Freddie Gibbs shit because mm-hmm. it doesn't match anything else that's came yes, out. Yeah, it's totally Haven't right. I asked y'all the question before of what would you prefer as an artist uh, for your project to get the most visibility to drop with a whole bunch of acts or to be the lone act on a drop date? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I, remind me again of your answers. Uh, I think if your music is this different and this authentic, it stands out. It's gonna stand out. Do you think that everybody thinks that their music is that different and authentic? Uh, maybe, but a some, lot of people think that music yeah, is yeah. authentic. But, but that's, that's, that's but there's where, someone in their true. corner that that's is realistic. That's yeah. where your hopefully. team, that's your management whoa, whoa, comes whoa, whoa, in. Whoa, whoa, hopefully, whoa, hopefully there's somebody box. in their corner yeah. that yeah. We, we know tell a lot of crews that are full of yes men. We know a lot of crews that niggas are scared to say something because they might lose their job and the ability to feed their family. So that's true. I ain't gonna say people are just walking around. I think I think we're rather unique in that aspect like we talk to each other like shit but <laughs> other, uh, other people yeah y'all talk to me like shit and then y'all still get paid like other people don't <laughs> other people lose their jobs <laughs> yeah no. so yeah i'm not rolling with that one but okay what were you saying i cut somebody off i'm sorry uh no i, I kind of to that point that i think gibbs dropping today was great for him i thought it was perfect there was a perfect mix with Do everything that came out today from mustard as well uh yeah 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 i think yeah. so yeah yeah today was Today kind of covered all genres of hip hop and R and B to me. Mm-hmm. Like if you wanted the real crooning R and B R and B shit with Daniel Caesar, you got that. If you wanted your poppy but more traditional now R and B, you got Chris Brown. Yeah. You wanted some grimy hip hop, you got Freddie Gibbs. Yeah. You wanted some more mainstream hip hop, you got Mustard. Like it really kind of covered everything. Today. Latin trap. That's bad, why this was. Bad bunny. There you go. Yeah. Like 
Yeah. Today was one of my favorite Fridays just because what, what do you diversity. need today? Yeah, <laughs> like, what else fact. do you need today? And, yeah, uh, it was something for everybody. Got some rock shit, Black Keys Drop. Black Keys Drop, too, which yeah. I heard was phenomenal. Black I haven't Keys. listened to I it I listened to like a couple songs. I got to be in a different vibe, too. Yeah. That's a yeah, whole different was, vibe. We was really in our listening to music bag. Yeah. I was up yeah. early. I was. I definitely I tried to make it a point today. to listen to more. I was Max. I was in LA, so the shit didn't drop till midnight over there. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, this is some bullshit. Yeah, but I'm so conflicted in that. But because that does mean that we can listen to a lot of music, and it contradicts what we come in here and, and um, say that we don't really have time to, nah, to listen not to that we don't have time but it's just that it, it, sometimes you can't really just take all the music in and really like get into the music digest. well I think a lot yeah. of times too a lot of music today is similar to each other I mean like I guess it's always been the case but being that there's so much of it mm -hmm. like a lot of shit sounds the same and there's a lot of it so it, it's hard to like yeah. let something grow on you you know what yeah. I'm saying whereas if something is very different and stands out You'll you'll give it time. Like I still See, haven't. What what I, what, time out, more. What y'all think I would have done in Parks if he would have said that same sentence to me in those basketball shorts in the airport? <laughs> <laughs> like, think about it. Like he just told music. You're gonna let something grow on somebody. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Like and don't stand over me. Anyway, go but no, I think it has to do with what your day was that day too. Like there's certain shit I probably wouldn't listen to, but if I have free time that day, I might. But if I don't, and I don't get to it that Friday, I'm probably not gonna go back to it. Mm. Like, I think it has to do with your free time with these type of Fridays. I get it. I want to shout out to Freddie Gibbs, man. I do. Uh, yeah. Amazing project. And Madlib. And Madlib. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm super happy. I'm super happy for both of them. I'm happy for me. I'm great happy. great or, to hear from Most Def. Yeah. That was awesome. Black yeah. Thought. Black Thought was on there, too. Or, and that's um, why he reminded me, not he reminded me, but that's why it brought me back to Benny's shit, too, because uh, the features were just perfect. Yeah. 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 That plugs uh, the plugs I met is still I'm still listening to that every day. Yeah, me too. Nah, shit, but this great. is gonna be heavy in rotation yeah, yeah. for me. Yeah, yeah even sure. down to like who would just put Killer Mike on a hook and it worked great. Right. <laughs> how did he like get, that's a risk? How did he get most F? Where did he find most F? <laughs> most yeah, brother. You can't <laughs> <laughs> that that's true. <laughs> that's definitely true. Now nah, Freddie's Freddie's cool with everybody. Yeah. But most stuff ain't easy to find. No. No. I know people that have tried to find most stuff. Can't find them. <laughs> oh, and in between the grimy shit, that practice record. Yeah. That sample flip. Yeah. I want to rewind and get back to what Parks just said because we got to redo the industry uh, industry <laughs> rankings. Oh, let's do I, it. I don't know anybody that's looked for most stuff. Oh, okay. So You're not just, making music anymore. So. That knows most stuff? Yeah, Park just threw that out casually. He, oh, you know most stuff. I don't know. I don't know oh. him at all. Yo, I know people that are trying. But I know people are that trying are try to find most stuff. <laughs> yeah. Trust you, me. They can't. <laughs> yeah. They can't find him. Yeah. Well, can we redo the industry rankings real quick? Okay. Give it to me. Give me your redone. Your redone rankings. One. I'm one still. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Firm. Two. Rory's two. The, the listeners can't see you pointing more. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Joe. Thank you. Rory. <laughs> me. Parks. Hey. Still. Mm -hmm. Rory. Uh, it, has anyone's I, changed? Because if, if 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 it's the same, we can just keep going. <laughs> I don't think anybody's just nah. changed. No, I, st I still got you, me, Mo, Parks. But Parks, lately, I don't know, he's been teetering. I learned more and more <laughs> teetering. about Teetering. The funny thing is, as much as we, we joke about how much we don't know about Mo and like what he does all day and, and his hip-hop historian lineage of everything Mo has done. That's true. Mo's family, not him. Mo was there. Yeah, yeah. You know, he was there. I did a lot. <laughs> Parks be throwing in little comments where I just, oh yeah, I was in that session with Nas. I was like, <laughs> yeah, like <"Shut> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I work, man. All right, fine. Enough of the <laughs> rankings. Uh, back well, to what's me. yours? You brought it up. Yeah, but uh, no, enough of, of me being the lone wolf carrying this shit. No, <laughs> you just don't want to be number one. I think that's the problem. No, yeah, but, no, we, no. Own I, your shit, man. I think y'all have me number one by default. So it's like. That that can't change well, to y'all. Default doesn't make it not true. Yeah, <laughs> like defaults be true a lot. All right, what I'm saying is it don't sound like that can ever be changed to you, gentlemen. It sounds like I'm a no, firm, it can I'm be, a firm it can lock. No, it can and, be changed. Uh, but it Maul, hasn't Maul changed. went to L.A. and had a Lakers championship ring in his hand. He knew the hiding spot. One, one of my, he, <laughs> no, I didn't know the hiding Fam, spot. It's my no. story. <laughs> okay, okay. He went in. No, no, he went no, in a, 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 a ex Lakers house. It found the jewelry box. No, he didn't find I it. Broke it, was, it, was it didn't, didn't get shot. The, the, the ring was hidden. <laughs> yeah. he I broke it. He removed the top case. Yeah. And, and it's like, yo, 
this is all I wanted to see. <laughs> what do you mean that's all you want to see? It's mad other shit in there to look at. <laughs> no, so what are y'all it. talking about? That see, was that, it. I know. I'm, that was it. I, I, I never. Listen, I never saw the ring. Mm. I'm at well, my friend's house. He he won a championship. My friend. Yeah. Nigga, so I'm like, nigga, I want to see the ring. Friends. He you got know, a case upstairs with the photo of the whole team. You, I'm like, oh, it's in there? He's like, nah, you know, that shit is in the top. Do you I'm call like, him Chip? He took, he took you to the tuck? Fuck no, I don't call him <laughs> Chip. Huh? He took, he took you to the tuck? <laughs> Yeah. Yes, you did. <laughs> Champ. Wait, 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 stop, because he was saying something funny in that vid. Motivation. T- no, no, was... no, that was the caption. Okay. Uh, well, hold on, on. TA. Hold on. That's T- what I call him. TA. TA. Yeah, it's my nigga Trev. We call him TA. TA. Come on. That's family. No, I, no, I don't care Come about the on. TA. I don't care about the TA. We can't shoot him up the list. I care. <laughs> that's How? what I'm saying. I care about Maul saying that's motivation. Like, all of us have a shot at. An NBA ring. Word. What am I motivated for? <laughs> no, it, I'm, nothing. I'm 5'8 and it, it, fat. It, I'm motivated. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I'm 29. Yeah. No, I'm not going to the league. It's, it's not about. It's not about. What are you motivating to do this podcast? No, it's not. It's, it's not about playing what, ball. What you trying to fucking level up? Nigga? No, it wasn't about playing ball. It was about winning. You know what I mean? Chasing the chasing the championship uh, uh, and whatever you do. Flip. And uh, whatever you do, I know you're trying to motivate uh, us to win you know an NBA mean, draft day. You, you got a really big team, yeah. So y'all need some really, really big, big rings. Right. Uh, draft day was coming. You, you see what I'm? Come on now, uh, see? God. Yeah, like that's what I was doing. Motivation. That's all. Tell we got me. AD the next day. That's not by. That's not by happenstance. Is that a word, Joe? Happenstance. I know that word. Yeah, that's not a word. A, yeah Ooh, happenstance. Good. Word of the that's day. Good. Word good of book, the day. Hey. Nigga Hold been reading. Ding 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 ding. I got some shit up here. Let me get my shit off, You know what I'm saying? Word of the day. It wasn't by happenstance that we got AD the next day. You know what I'm saying, Parks? You right. get my shit off, man. Happenstance. happenstance. Yeah. <laughs> ADTA. So that does not I can't keep up with I didn't call no, I don't they call him AD. I didn't give him that. That okay. that's different. And you did go in there and tell it's the J A D A. No, I did. <laughs> and, but look how look how Joey set it up. And you did go in there. No, no I did not. <laughs> Stop lying. I did not do that. Never did that. I got that. bitches in the club. Never did that. <laughs> Ma, take it easy. Nobody don't do. Who said that? Take kiss? it easy. Nobody ever told Ma Nobody to take told it easy. Ma to take it easy. No, that's your phone going off. That's Tia. That's Champ. <laughs> Yo, hey, that's how many Champ. Sisters, how many sisters does Mo have? <laughs> that's Champ. Jeez, I that, never called. That, that's I never champ. called. That's, champ. that's hilarious. I never called that nigga yes, Champ ever in my life. Tia yeah. is the same shit. No, yeah, it's not. It's that's similar. his initial. Teacher's assistant. All right, come on. Our fans in Africa don't care about the fucking. <laughs> He's your teacher. <laughs> no, Rory, no.